Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I wanted to welcome you to my channel. I am so grateful that you guys are listening, watching, commenting, subscribing, all of that. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys not particularly about an INFJ thing, although I think it's very common to us, but particularly related to me and why I have decided, after a lot of thinking and a lot of observing the world that I actually don't want children. I, I really, I really, 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 really don't want children. Okay. Now, I never really wanted children, even when I was a child myself, and I noticed how adults treat children and how, you know, it's such a hard world to live in as a child and it's getting harder all the time. I didn't want children at that point either. Like from the very, from a very young age, um, I knew that I did not want to bring another life onto this planet. Um, as I grew grew older and I got into my you know teens and twenties, a lot of people were like, you know, you're still young. You're gonna change your mind. You once you get into your late twenties, you're gonna really, really, really want kids. And I was thinking to myself, um, yeah, probably not gonna happen. But let's see. You know, I'm open to um, everything. And so I waited. I waited for that epiphany, that, that instinct to kick in, to say, you know, yeah, okay, great, I'm ready. Now we can have kids, right? It never kicked in, and I'm 34 now, and I really, now more than ever, do not want kids, not even a little bit. Um, not because I don't love kids. I think they're amazing, and they're, the more I look at the, my friends' kids and all that stuff, I, I realize more and more how interesting they are you know how they learn about the world how they grow and and how they're like untainted and they're just you know they're new new souls are coming onto this planet and i really love them i love babies i love kids i love children they're smart they're intelligent they're you know they're curious they're always like learning and growing so it's not not their fault and i'm not saying that i don't love kids i love kids and kids love me um so that's not the issue but to bring up politics and to bring up religion, to bring up the entire state of the world right now, why the hell would I want to bring a new soul, a new person, a new human being into this planet right now where it's literally going to shit in every single way possible? Now, I know what you guys are going to say. I know what you're going to say. You know, you might, your child might be the one that changes, that discovers cancer, or your child might be the one that might change the world, or our children are the ones who are going to be changing the world, they're going to be the ones who are going to improve the world, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, right, yeah? So I don't know about all that stuff. I mean, I know I all the children that are coming up in the world right now, I see a lot of good ones. They're doing a lot of cool things, a lot of charity work, changing the world. They're changing the neighborhood. And I'm not judging that at all. I'm not saying that they won't do that, and that my child might not do that. But the reality of this world is like, if you bring up politics, um, Donald Trump is the president of the United States, one of the most powerful countries in the world. And I just, I don't want to even bring up politics, but that's the main, one of the main reasons why I'm like, no way am I bringing up a child onto this planet where basically the, the Nazis have taken over, where like people who are so freaking racist and sexist and just horrible in all the different ways are in charge of the world. And not only that, but they're, people all over the world who are against black people, against uh, the LGBTQ community, against, um, again, against brown people, against, against everything, against everything that is not them. And there's more and more racism and more and more sexism everywhere. Not only that, I mean, I thought that Toronto, my beautiful city, was immune to all that stuff. You know, I, I love Toronto, I love Canada, and I thought that we're, we're not, we're not, never, it's never gonna happen here. And then recently, just recently, Doug Ford was uh, elected premier of Ontario. And my sister messaged me, she says, I have some depressing news for you because I'm not really watching or, or in privy to it because I'm not really, I don't really watch the news and also I'm not involved with it because I'm not there right now. And she messaged me saying that, you know, Doug Ford was elected and I was thinking to myself, first of all, I was speechless because I can't believe that Torontonians or Ontarians, or Canadians in general, would have ever elected a human being like that. But not only that, this has happened in the past. You know, Rob Ford, his brother, was elected in the past, and he was a complete idiot. And so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I still am, weirdly enough. I shouldn't be surprised because if Donald Trump can be elected, then Doug Ford can, Ford can be elected, and Rob Ford can be elected, and people like that, shitty, shitty, shitty leaders can be definitely elected. But then I look at France, and I look at the leaders there, and I look at all the other different 
premiers and prime ministers around the world, I think to myself, okay, why? Why, why is North America like this? Why are we so freaking behind? Why are we always doing things like this, electing people who are so sexist and sexist and so racist, I mean, and who are not not doing it subtly, but they're doing it blatantly, talking about stupid things like grabbing pussies and things like that. I mean, come on, come on. So anyways, that's a little diatribe on that, but that always brings me back to the point that, you know, I don't want to bring a child onto this planet right now where people like him, people like them are in power. Leaders like that of some of the most powerful countries in the world are like that. I mean, like that, like it's, it's a little bit scary to me. And I really cannot justify bringing a new person on this planet when that's part of it. But when like the environment is, is dying, the oceans are being choked up by plastic. You know, I mean, they're like, there's like so much. I, I don't, I can't even start talking about all the different things that are going on on this planet. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on on the planet in general that is that gives me, that deters me from even ever even thinking about reproducing. I don't. I mean, if you're thinking in terms of reproduction, you're bringing new plant, new life onto this planet, and they will change the world in the future then why aren't we able to do that right now as we stand here right now? I mean, I'm already here and we are doing the best we can right now in this moment in time, but still the world is going to shit little by little. So what is going on here? Why are we saying that we're going to bring new life on this planet and they're going to take care of it? We, we did our level best. We, we wash our hands off of it. We kind of think, okay, that's it. I'm done. Um, they can take care of it. Why? Why are we pushing off the responsibility to the new generation that hasn't even arrived yet and is going to arrive onto this planet where it's completely gone to shit? Like, why are we pushing off responsibility to them? Why are we saying that we're going to be ha we have to have kids because they're the wave of the future and they're going to change the world? Why aren't we doing that ourselves? Why aren't we taking that responsibility for ourselves? I know, I'm not saying that none of us are doing that. A lot of us do what we can. You know, we go vegetarian or we, we commute by bike, or you know, do little things here and there. But in general, we can see that there's a lot of stuff that's wrong with the world. Not to say that there isn't a lot of stuff that's right with the world, right? I mean, I'm not completely negating all that stuff. I'm absolutely not. I mean, there every single time I see a negative story of a polar bear dying of hunger because, you know, all the ice caps are melting, I also see a positive story of, a child, a nine-year-old who's making dolls for, for babies in hospitals, you know? So there are always, like, the good and bad is always there. The good and evil is always there. I mean, there's always going to be good and bad. I understand that. But in my head, as an individual, as a, as a female, as, as someone who has the capacity to bring a new child onto this planet, a new human being, I just can't justify it to myself. And I'm saying this coming from a very positive perspective. I am one of the most positive people out there, one of the most optimistic people out there. I believe, I don't believe that the, even though the world is going to shit right now, I don't believe that's the end of the world. And I don't believe that we have no hope at all. I absolutely do not believe that. I know that we have a hope. I know that for sure. Uh, and I have trust. I have trust that the human beings, that the virus that is human beings has invaded the earth. But the earth is stronger than that, and the earth will get rid of us, and we'll come back to fruition. We'll come back to um, to being full again, right? To being um, not sick again, right? I, I trust that. I, I believe that the earth and Mother Nature is stronger than us, and we will be annihilated eventually, and I hope that it happens sooner rather than later. But So I do have hope for the world in general, right? But in, in that regard, I can't, I cannot... Not only because of overpopulation, which is one of those things when I was a child, you know, um, we moved out of India because there were no jobs in India and there were more jobs in the Middle East. So my family moved out because it, they were fighting for, like, people are literally fighting in India for jobs. Like, uh, 50 people are fighting for one job or a hundred thousand, thousands of people are fighting for one or two jobs, right? I mean, there's way too many people, not enough stuff, not even resources, blah, blah, blah. We all know this stuff. But when I was a child and I'd look at the situation and, you know, people, I would always ask my parents, I'm like, why did you have three kids? Not that I don't love my siblings. I love them to death and I'm so glad they're there. But I was thinking to myself, why would you bring so many children onto this planet? Even if you wanted one, have one. Why would you bring extras when the world is already overpopulated? And in my head, it made logical sense, even as a child, that 
if the world is overpopulated, then don't have kids. Now, of course, I mean, I'm not saying that for everyone. I don't think this applies to everyone. I don't think it can apply to everyone because not everyone thinks that way. And also not everyone should think that way because otherwise then where would we be, right? So maybe my perspective is absolutely wrong and I should have hope and I should have a child because maybe that child is going to be the one who becomes a leader of the world and changes the world kind of, you know, who knows, right? I, I get that, I get that. But I still, no matter how many people come to me and give me all these justifications and all these stories and all this stuff, I, I still cannot justify bringing another, plan, another person onto this planet. If I would have to live with that for the rest of my life, I would be sitting there and they would be coughing and, you know, hacking away because the air is polluted and they wouldn't be able to drink the water because the water is polluted. They wouldn't be able to go into the ocean because the ocean is polluted. They wouldn't be able to do anything because they'd be getting rashes all the time from all the chemicals in, the, in our food and our in our clothes. And they'd be sitting there, you know, and I think I'd be thinking to myself, you know, how could I do this to someone else? And I would have to live with this for the rest of my life. I could not do that to myself. I can't do that to someone else either. I'd be so filled with guilt all the time. And maybe that's the wrong perspective. Maybe that's the wrong way of looking at it. But the more I look at it, the more I think about it, the more I know that this is my perspective. And it's not going to change. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to change at least. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys because I've been thinking a lot about this. And whenever I say that, you know, I don't want kids, everyone always just jumps down my throat and says, oh my God, you're so selfish, you're blah, blah, blah. And so I always, I always think to myself, okay, this is just a choice I'm making. Well, you wouldn't, most people wouldn't say that if they were, there was a pro-life, pro-choice um, debate. You know, they wouldn't jump down there for it. But for some reason, if you decide not to have a child as a female in this world, everyone instantly judges you. Right? And so, I mean, as a human being right now, as a female person here right now, I thought it was necessary for me to share my voice because... I'm not doing it because I'm selfish. In fact, I'm doing it because I want to be selfless, right? Maybe that doesn't come across to other people, but this is the reason. This is my reasoning behind why I can't. I just, there is no way in hell. Even, even the thought of it makes me want to cry with guilt and with shame because I think to myself, how can I? I mean, how can I do this to some other person, especially someone that I'm going to love forever a lot? It's going to be my flesh and blood. How can I bring them onto this planet right now? I, I just can't. There is no justification for it, in my head at least. I hope this makes sense to you guys. I just wanted to share this with you guys because, because it's important to me and because I've been thinking about it a lot and because I have had so many people talk to me about this stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I'm sure a lot of you have kids and you are happy that you have kids and you brought them into this planet with hope and joy and optimism and I'm grateful that you guys are like that and I'm grateful there are people out there like that. I'm not saying that everyone should be like me. I'm just sharing my opinion on the matter. Okay? All right. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.